Okay, so I had a request for uh, some videos uh, over the weekend, and one of them was for this one, recognizing typical LCAO molecular orbitals. Okay, so remembering that LCAO stands for linear combination of atomic orbitals, right? Remembering that the linear combination means that we're going to have two atomic orbitals. Atomic orbital plus an atomic orbital is going to give you two molecular orbitals, right? A linear combination means addition or subtraction. That's what that means. Addition or subtraction of atomic orbitals gives you molecular orbitals. So we're interested in molecular orbitals, right? And we're interested in, you know, at the simplest level, homonuclear diatomic molecule. And that means, you know, a homonuclear means it's going to have two H nuclei or two oxygen nuclei or two nitrogen nuclei, right? Homonuclear means it's going to be a diatomic molecule that's made out of, it's really elemental. Two nuclei are the same element. So this, this, mo, this MO that we're interested here in this question is uh, formed by combining two, a, a 2S atomic orbital from each atom. So what we did when we drew uh, when we drew uh, diagrams for these, let me go with blue. Let's say blue. Is we said let's we drew an energy diagram for whatever this is. One s, two s, two p. Remember this? And then let's let's ignore the one s and the two s. But then we had we had two. If it's homonuclear. We're drawing two of them out, right? And then we draw, in the middle, we draw, the, we, these are the atomic orbitals. This is an atomic orbital. This is an atomic orbital. The molecular orbitals we draw in the middle. And remember, we, we say that one of the molecular orbitals is higher in energy than both of these, and one is lower in energy, right? And this is the bonding. The bottom one's the bonding, and it's a sigma. And the top one is an anti-bonding, and we're gonna call it sigma star, okay? That's what that is, sigma star, it's an asterisk right there. And furthermore, since it comes from the 2s, it's gonna be really two sigma, and this comes from a 2s also, right? Also two sigma star, okay? So, um, so uh, what are we saying about this? Okay, so, uh, just a second, I got lost in my, my head. Okay, all right, so if we have two here and two here we're gonna get two here and two here right and so recall that that bonding orbitals and anti-bonding orbitals this is gonna really fit nicely in your head this really makes exactly the sense you would think okay bonding orbitals the electrons are mostly gonna be in the middle here Right? Anti-bonding, they're going to mostly be on the outside, which you can see, right? These are mostly on the outside. Do you see that? All right. So I can see that it's an anti-bonding orbital because they're mostly on the outside. So I'm going to check that one there. It's an anti-bonding orbital. And since it's anti-bonding and it comes from two 2s's, two it must be that one. So the symbol for this is going to be, oh, I think sigma 2s star. Okay, we'll look up the notation in just a second, but I think that's what the notation is. a sigma 2s star, and then the question is, what is the energy of this MO compared to the energy of the 2s orbital on one of the separate atoms, right? So here's the separate one, and you see if this is the antibonding orbital, it's higher. Can you see that? Okay, it's higher. So we did a couple things here. Number one, we knew that since it came from, uh, we're combining two 2s's here, we saw that. So it must be a sigma, right? We thought about this. We went, all right, two S's are going to combine to make two, two sigmas, right? And uh, so we knew, and then we saw that they were on the, most of these electrons are on the outside of the nuclei because the, the question says this black dot is, is the nucleus, right? So the electrons are mostly on the outside, so therefore it's antibonding. So since it was antibonding, it would be sigma star, and since it's anti-bonding, it's going to be higher in energy. All right. 
Hope that's helpful. Actually, let's take a second and go look at the, no the way that this notation is. I think it's sigma 2s star. Let's go, let's go verify that. Sigma 2s star. Yeah, look at that, right? Can you see it right here? I'm pointing my finger at the screen. Can you see it's sigma 1s, right? And sigma 1s star, right? So if this is from a 2s, it's going to be sigma 2s, right? Star. Here's sigma 1s star because it's from a 1. Uh, atomic orbital, but all right. So yeah, there you go. There's the answer. Sigma 2s star, and that's the reason why. All right. Okay. Hope that's helpful, and I'm going to close it out here.